Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 33 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were talking about how to customize brushes inside of Adobe Photoshop. Today I've got a quick tip for you related to Adobe InDesign. We're going to talk about how you can set your preferences. Let's go ahead and take a look. Have you ever had that issue in InDesign where you needed to draw some frames and for some reason every time you drew a frame it disappeared? And it didn't matter if you went over and changed the type tool, those frames also seemingly disappeared. And then somehow it turned out that you actually had a ton of frames already on the screen. Or maybe you actually needed to work with some text frames and you didn't realize that one text frame was somehow connected to another one. These are just some of the InDesign preference gotchas that can happen to you. Today I'm going to show you how to set preferences inside of InDesign, but before I do that, some quick things you need to know. Number one, preferences are document specific. So you could have one document in inches and another document in picas. You could have one document with Times New Roman as the font and somehow every new document you create wants to use Arial. The next thing you need to know about preferences, there's not a master reset button. If you go and set 32 preferences for a document and send it to me, I could change those same 32 preferences. You can't prevent me from doing it. There's no lockdown method and there's no way to reset all those preferences all at once. The last thing you need to know is if you want to set your default preferences for the new documents you create, you need to have all the documents closed. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. I'm going to start by closing InDesign. I want you to see if I did do File New, one of the gotchas again for preferences, here, right in the width and the height. I know many of you are wondering why you always get picas when you create new documents. So, make sure no documents are open. Let's start setting some of the preferences that we want. We'll go first to the Preferences dialog box. That is Command-K on a Mac or Control-K on a PC. You could also go to the Edit menu, Preferences on a PC, or the InDesign menu, Preferences on a Mac. I'm going to go right to the Units and Increments setting. Here is where we set the ruler. I'd like that to be inches by default. So now every new document you create is going to be set to inches. I'm also going to point out while we're here, File Handling. Here under File Handling is the Links section. I want you to see that by default, when you drop an image or place an image in InDesign, it is linked. But if you grab a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, it's copied by default. So if you would prefer to have active links to your, in, uh, to your Word documents and your Excel spreadsheets, make sure you check that option. So don't have time to go through every single preference you have here. Just made a couple quick changes. Let's take a look at some other menu gotchas. Second place to go for preferences would be your pull down menu. So here under extras, this is where I can make sure that frame edges are shown by default. I can also make sure that text threads are shown by default. I'm also going to just quickly go over to my ruler guides. This is a quick place to change color. I prefer to have dark ruler guides that I can see. Last place I'm going to go to change preferences, the type tool. Notice it's using Minion Pro and 12 point as the font. I'm going to actually change this to be Adobe Garamond Pro, but I'm not going to change it here inside of the Type Tool Control Panel. I'm actually going to go to the Paragraph Styles Panel and edit the basic paragraph style because this appears in every new document. So double click to open up the Paragraph Style Options, go to Basic Character Formats, and here I'll change the font to Adobe Garamond Pro simply by typing Adobe Garamond there in the box. So that's the only change I want to make here. I'll click OK. Now I've made that edit. If we make a new document, notice it's in inches. If I click OK, notice when I draw some frames, we can see them. 
If you'd like to toggle the frames on and off, the keyboard shortcut is simply Command Control H. And then notice if I have linked frames with my type tool, once again linked frames with my type tool, we'll see the thread. So if I go ahead and just click my control here, make a new text frame, we can easily see that those are connected together. So those are some things to remember when setting default preferences in InDesign. If you want to read further on InDesign preferences, you can go to bit.ly slash idprefs. Once again, that's bit.ly slash idprefs. Get more information on default settings for InDesign preferences. If you liked the video, if it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it when you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, I make the videos that you request. I answer the questions that you want to have answered. You can always find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Leave comments here on the video channel or my blog, ajwood.com. You guys have an excellent weekend, and I'll see you next week.